I'm Kyle Meltzer. Austin Albers. Maddie Wisniewski. Coach, just give me some quick thoughts on the game. Yeah, um, you know, I didn't think we played very well, um, but our girls fought really hard. We played tough um, to be that close in those sets, just not executing um, at our best level. Um, shows the heart and grit of this team. I uh, wish we would have played better, but it is what it is, and it uh, didn't go our way. Um, but proud of the way we didn't give up. We fought the whole time. Uh, was it, what were they doing on there that was giving you guys fits? It seemed like they gave you some points on the service line there in the first set, but uh, some of the things that uh, didn't work out for you, I guess. Uh, yeah, you know, I thought we just can, kind of continued to shoot ourselves in the foot. Um, they did what they do, which is score points and then um, allow you to make mistakes if you're going to make them, and we just didn't. We didn't do a good enough job on our side tonight. Um, credit to them; they played well. Um, you know, but the big, big story I think on our side was is we just I think we were jittery early, and then we just never really got it going in those moments where we needed to kind of extend some of those leads. Uh, it's two weeks, a long time to have to sit and wait and game plan. I mean, have you seen them four times? Have you got to do too much scouting? But I mean, two weeks is a long time to have to sit and wait. I feel. Like. Yeah, you know, it got to a point where you know I think the girls were looking at me just like, hey. We, we know it. Right? We don't need to be force-fed it anymore. So, um, you know, it was really just about, you know, being relaxed and trying to take in the moment. Um, it's our first national tournament since most of these ladies have been born. So just being in that, being in that situation, knowing that um, it's not as familiar to us. And my big goal for the team was, you know, not to come out and, and, and lay an egg. Um, you know, and we certainly didn't do that. Uh, there were some good things along the line. Um, but just little little jittery moments and little breakdowns that caught up to us. Uh, 1997, I think that was the last time yep. taking this team at what, four wins, maybe three or four years ago. To, to where we are now, what's yep. that just say what you're doing here with this program? Um, you know, well, kudos to my coaching staff and to the to the ladies. Um, you know, we talked about it a little bit in the locker room, but we don't get. I mean, I can recruit players and I can put a system together, but without the buy-in, without the work, it doesn't mean anything. I'm just beating my head against a wall at that point. So um, it really comes down to them. Um, and we talked about it, you know, some of these ladies coming with coming with me to come play at a 5-22 and 22 program. There's not, there's not a great recruiting pitch for that, um, you know. And for somebody like Maddie who was there and was part of that old, old, old culture and to jump, jump ship to the new culture and just really grab onto it and be such a catalyst for moving us in the right direction – um, just shows a ton of, ton about the character of our young ladies on our team. Um, I think them putting us on the map in terms of this is just going to help with recruiting, and we're going to be able to get more talented and get get players that we didn't have looks at in the previous recruiting cycles. Um, and that's really all credit due to the work that our staff does, and then the ladies executing it and buying in and just being all in on what we're trying to do uh, down in Pueblo. Talk about buying in, and, and what did you hear from him that made you want to stick around or? fight and do what you had to do to get to this point where you're reaching a national channel for the first time or excuse me, a national regional for the first time in a long time. Uh, yeah, Austin doesn't give himself enough credit, I think. <laughs> um, I've been with him my whole volleyball career, and there's no one I would rather play for. Um, he's <laughs> a very special coach, um, and he has the ability to take people, a group of strangers, and make them a family and lead them towards a dream and make it a reality. So, I'd follow him anywhere. <laughs> You're a senior, is that right? So is this it for you? I know COVID has changed everything about that, but uh, just talk about what it's meant to be a Thunder Wolf and, and uh, the play, wear the uniform, and, and bring this program to where it is right now. Um, it's been a great opportunity, and I'm so grateful to have come into a place that was unexpected and, you know, the underdog and be part of the process to turn that around um, and make a name for ourselves. And that's something I'm forever grateful for. Uh, just talk about Maddie a little bit and how she's going to have an effect on you and what she's done for this program. <laughs> uh, we've been roommates for all three years, so I there love her go. to death <laughs> on and off the court. Um, you know, she just has this energy that is so infectious. Um, and we call her the wizard because... She just makes these plays and puts balls down in ways that, like, according to physics, shouldn't exist. <laughs> um, so she's a great person to play with, and, you know, she's one of my best friends, and I've loved getting to play with her these last three years, so.
What are some of your final things you'll say to the recruits that are coming in or the freshmen or sophomores, juniors that are coming back? What do you hope they take from this experience? Oh, enjoy it. Um, and if you buy in, you'll get everything you've ever wanted. Like, um, it's a really special opportunity and a great place to be. Uh, and if you buy in and you, you know, join the culture, you'll end up here at the national tournament. And, you know, next year we're, we're going to go a step further and the year after that a step further. And, you know, I believe we'll get, we'll get to the championship one day. I truly do. So. Maddie, you were part of that team <laughs> that was down in the dumps. <laughs> Didn't know where the future would hold. I think Grace Hearn was another one. There's not a lot of you that's on the roster now. Yeah. Uh, but just talk about just sticking with this program and being a part of this that you've gotten just so so far and so good. Yeah, I mean, the program has really just done a 180. I mean, Coach got here, and he just changed the whole culture and the whole feel. Like, he took a team, and he turned it into a family, and he brought along his players like Munch and Peyton and his recruits from the old school that just really helped push the program to be better and get to where we are now. Uh, wearing that, that jersey uh, and, and sticking with it, and did, did you have a great time? What was it like? And, and uh, just seeing the girls grow and being with this coach that came around and did wonders. Yeah, I mean, I can't even say how proud I am of all of the girls on the team, like the growth that I've seen from every player and freshmen coming in every season and getting them or getting to watch them develop into like these confident players and learn how to score and just really like figure out their place on the team and like where they fit in like it's been amazing and this has been like the experience of life for me getting to be a part of the program that turned around and made that change and we'll probably go down in history <laughs> Uh, just kind of uh, you echo what Kyle says is about coach, not giving himself enough credit there? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, <laughs> he's just, I can't even put it into words. Like, the effect that he has on the team and that he had on the program and getting the players to buy in and just feel like they belong and like feel like part of family, like, it's been insane. And it's been... <laughs> one of the best experiences I've had in my life. Is this what it's all about, Coach, to see two girls like this who just have so many great things to say and get better in volleyball and get better at life as well? Yeah, this is this is it, man, right here. Um, <laughs> you know, I we talk about, about love a lot in our program. Um, you know, and when I was a young coach and I first started coaching, I got into it because I was competitive and I it was about – it was about me enjoying the experience. And as I've gotten older, I've started to just enjoy the investment for them more. Um, and really it starts to mean, it's, it's meant more to see them succeed and to see them go on and to see, to see them be successful um, and to grow into confident young women that are prepared for whatever the world throws at them. Um, and so I'm just extremely proud of these two ladies next to me, um, our other senior, Peyton, and, and really our whole team. Um, they've, from day one, done the things that we needed to do, and, um, you know, they're my, they're my why. They're why I do this, and so um, I appreciate their kind words, um, and I'm excited to continue this with our next generation of Thunderwolves because um, I think that there's a lot of potential in our, in our program and our city um, to continue to build this thing the right way.